And I'll always remember the years of the uh, Silver Main who practiced every day. Yo, chit up, soldier. You gotta make a grown ass man cry. First of all, I just wanna say I love Valorant. <laughs> Thank you very much. Stop the cap. <laughs> Baba Bowie. WestJet. What is up, child neglect? The doctor disrespect. WestJet 655, Venezuelan trillionaire here, and today we're talking about an average poop sock quitting Valorant for good. Oh, and literally, 0% of you are subscribed, so be sure to subscribe. Yeah, yeah. It's a good day in the WestJet Omniverse. My ops are falling like flies, and this time it's Average Jonas who released a video talking about him quitting Valorant, and today we're gonna go over that. Little bro got tired of making skid videos every week. <laughs> no. Today is a devastating day for anyone even remotely familiar with Valorant, because the biggest skin shill has come to an end. Some would dare say he fell off. For my new viewers who don't know the average Jonas lore, basically he's a 35 year old man who plays Valorant that has the biggest victim complex of all time. Let me play you an old clip. Making fun of people for their age is like the lowest of lowest. Well, actually yours is highest of highest. Last year you were 34 average Jonas. This year you're 35. Which one is it, you fraud? I love Valorant. I love all the opportunities I've had from losing my job as an opera singer to started streaming on Twitch, making loads of friends around the world, sponsors, opportunities, moving to LA. I can't take this seriously. He's talking as if he lost a loved one in Afghanistan, not that he's quitting Valorant, the children's game. Um, however, in the last year, I've definitely felt the um, burnout of playing the same game for so much. Um, and it's also been tough to struggle with all the voice and throat issues I've had in the last years. While I don't like you, I do wish you a speedy recovery because at the end of the day, professionals have standards. And also the pr nature of a game being a tactical FPS is that it kind of limits the amount of theory crafting you can do. Um, compared to a game like, let's say, Dota or something else. Finally, he came to his senses because not even a year ago, he was coming after content creators for not being creative enough. I'm not making it up. Here's the tweet to prove it. He was literally glazing her eyes so hard talking about Valorant is an infinite pool of creativity. We've been saying it. It's not a YouTube game. It's a game for people to huddle around a corner and gossip about their favorite streamer. Genuinely, all Valorant content is in 2024 is like, what did this guy say about this guy? What's going on here? It's literally a drama fest, but it's not even funny drama. It's cringe. Come Compared to a game like, let's say, Dota. Dota. Wait, hold up. Did this dude just say Dota? I gotta focus on what makes me happy. I suggest starting a family, bro, instead of hanging around Sage Bobby at TwitchCon. It works. We all know that you cannot Whoa. have female friends. Sigma. <laughs> um, I posted skin videos for quite a while, and we all know that those were just videos that it's kind of just like highlights, and you just toss them out there because they were doing fine. It was nothing like you're super passionate about. Nah, that was your calling, man. I saw the fire in your eyes when you were reviewing the skins. Oh, okay, that's cool. Okay, that's cool. But here's the thing. I haven't really felt happy in a while while streaming Valorant, which is why I started uh, doing more variety. Uh, I started playing Dota and Paddle Worlds and those, like, those two games was the first time I felt the same way I felt when I just started streaming four and a half years ago. When you're in a depression competition and your opponent is a Valorant YouTuber, like you'd lose every single time. The game's designed to basically make people depressed. While I don't like Average Jonas, I gotta respect the man changing his position because he is right. It's a Valorant issue. There's nothing to do. The game's a barren wasteland and it's boring. And I realized how important it is to listen to those kind of feelings because I don't want you guys to just watch a sad streamer because I do really think that my content is a lot better if I am happy while I'm doing it, instead of forcing myself to do uh, something that doesn't make me seem that passionate about it. He's literally Hannah Baker on his 13th reason right now with Valorant. And next time, think about me, huh? All the people talk about Valorant in my comments. Think about how happy I am milking Mr. Peace. So I definitely felt lost for a little bit and kind of just waited for the uh, next big game to drop. Didn't really know what that was. Could be maybe Marvel Rivals or something else i don't know music to my ears i'm not typically one to prey on someone's downfall but i can make an exception once in a while especially since this dude said i fell off and i hold grudges i'm like a teenage girl anna baker he's just a hater and he fell off i'm getting like like inspired by andrew tate vibes yo yo hold your horses my cover is blown how did he find out i was a sick boy this is crazy that he was getting cooked on my timeline bro you're the one inspired by andrew tate you got two girlfriends 
ago, I got invited to the private playtest of a game by Valve called Deadlock. Now, Deadlock is a MOBA shooter from Valve that combines elements from shooters like Overwatch and Valorant, but also the tactical and nerdiness of Games like Dota and League of Legends. While he might quit Valorant, he ain't ever quitting being a riot shell. He sold his soul. Imagine he plays in their new game for four years, making skin videos on it because it's riot. They're going to have skins that he quits again in four years. And you know you're cooked when the people on Reddit are putting an appreciation post. Average Jonas just announced he is quitting Valorant permanently. Me every other day. Okay, fair play, Reddit. That was good. I'll give you that one and only that one. That's why I've decided that this is the new beginning I need and I will be completely quitting Valorant on all my platforms. It is super scary. Um, I am pretty terrified about it because of course this is my career and uh, I've seen many streamers switch games before and fell off, fell off, fell off. A lot of the times it doesn't necessarily uh, go that well. And I genuinely hope it does for you and you're able to find success because albeit you are an average poop sock, but you are our average poop sock. Aww. And I do understand that some of you will probably not like this decision, and I completely understand if you don't want to follow my journey uh, here forward. Hey, at least you get it, bro. It ain't easy out here in these streets. This YouTube sh ain't no game. Uh, I also want to thank everybody so much for just changing my life so much, and I hope to see you in my um, Deadlock streams if you guys want to. A good majority of YouTube viewers believe Dream when he says he loves them. So when a YouTuber's using language such as you guys changed my life, I'm already on high alert. Changing my life. And honestly, it would be more genuine if immediately after that he didn't follow by, oh, I hope you watch my streams later on and keep supporting me financially. So much and I hope to see you in my um, Deadlock streams. Nice one. And I'll always remember the years of the uh, Silva main who practiced every day in a custom game. <laughs> Thank you very much. At the ripe age of 35, you're crying about shifting your YouTube channel niche. Like, you can't make it up. And even after that whole depressing escapade, Reddit does not ease down <laughs> the quitting side of power. <laughs> WestJet nutting to this announcement? Everything I've learned about WestJet has been against my will. WestJet is cri- What?! His target audience is banned kids. Dudes on Reddit's trying to roast all. Oh. Every banned kid has Reddit downloaded. How do you not see the irony there? That makes no sense. Thank you very much. For subscribing to WestJet's channel, he puts in way more effort than me and edits his own videos instead of outsourcing them to Bangladesh. He's a much better YouTuber and he deserves more subscribers than me.